for you to get out and enjoy sausages. <gasps> uh, sausages? There are sausages in this box. <gasps> we took the wrong box. So where is Mr. Penguin? So what's it to be? Rainy day in Rio? <clears throat> or ocean breeze over Canada? <clears throat> oh, I'll use them both. I'll just unpack that box. Then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. <laughs> I wonder what's in this one. Ah! Ah! Oh! oh no! My scented candles! Oh no! Fire! Oh! The door's blocked! Too many boxes! I'll need to go upstairs! Oh dear! I've never carried a penguin upstairs before, but I suppose there's a first time for everything! Oh! Ooh! Enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? Uh, she'll only do those stuffed peppers again. <gasps> oh no! Help! Oh, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah, you're back. How did it go? We didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan Price and the Penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and, and Dylan Price and a Penguin are trapped upstairs? Yes. Yeah. Ellie and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger that, that, Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same Penguin, Sam? Chances are pretty high, Elvis. Sorry, Norman. Sam is on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the Penguin. Firefighter Dillis. Firefighter Sam. Air 100%. It's the Waddly Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! <laughs> Hello, Waddly Penguin! <laughs> Ooh, he smells all fishy! An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. Searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Yay! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. Told you. It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. It's 
my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, man. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You okay, Hannah? Uh, I didn't finish. <laughs> Off you go. Huh? Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. You did, Hannah. We knew you would, didn't we? Yep. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hannah. up the runaway sheep now, sir. Thank heavens for that. <laughs> Come back here, you silly sheep. Whoa! Ah. Oh. Ouch. Ow. Oh, my poor little vegetables. Got you. Ready, everyone? Three, two, one. Oh. Ah, now it really does look like Ponty Pandy. Come on, come on to the greatest show on. Up here, Norman's Flea Circus. Ta-da! Where are the fleas, Norman? I don't know. They were here. Oh, oh, uh, it's, uh, oh. Uh, let's hear it for my spectacular jumping flea. Norman! <laughs> Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. My Norman's downstream! They're in the water! Downstream. The dogs! Trevor ate my sausage rolls! <laughs> Stay calm! We'll find him! I'm launching Saturn! Now! There he is! Norman, grab onto this! Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady 
Puffle Paws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. Get ready, Penny. Gotcha. <laughs> Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, ooh, and very licky. Norman, you know, if pets are in danger, owners should never try to save them. Always call a rescue service. And never play near water unless an adult is there to watch you. I'm sorry. But you did show you cared. Maybe you are ready to have a dog of your own. No way. Dogs are naughty. You tell them one thing, they do another. And they're always getting into trouble. Sounds like someone else I know. Come in, Penny. Seal here. I love my new desk. But why is there a slide in the lounge area? I thought we could keep the slide. We'll remove it immediately, sir. Um, oh, ah. Yes, you may have to remove me first. Norman, what are you doing? My dad said it wasn't ready. I'm just testing it. What's wrong? Scared you can't bounce as high as me. Of course I'm not, but... Come on then, Mandy. Prove it. All right, I will. <laughs> Woohoo! Sing my songs till I think I'll burst But I never forget that I'm a fireman first I love to rock and I love to swing But the thing I love best is when the fire bell rings A ding-a-ling, a ding-a-ling, a just one more verse Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Huh? No, no, stop that. Get off! <laughs> Hang on, Mandy. Hang on, Norman. I'm slipping. <laughs> Thank you, Fireman Sam. Thank you, Elvis. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current is quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! Whoa! What a 
I give to be back in my helicopter. The wind is northwest. The tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. Mm, there. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam? Come in, Sam. Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Ponty Pandy Island and a lot further out from shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I've fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Ponty Pandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. Will Tom really be where you said, Dad? I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hi! Yes! Beauties! Oh, you found me! There you go, Tom! Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be up there, mate. You're a legend. I guess something went right today after all. <laughs> Our dad is the best. He's the coolest dad ever. All those who agree, sound your horns. <laughs> everyone. Gather in close. I don't know what Sam was talking about. We're easy to photograph. Jeez! Are we ready? Fireman Sam standing by, sir. Firefighter Phillips standing by. Firefighter McKinley standing by. Firefighter War standing by. Wannabe One standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Uh, uh hello, Ponty Pandy. Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> yes. Right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Bye. Well, I just hope Mike does as well as me. Hello, Putty Pandy. I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. Ta-da! That's my side though, where people say hello! Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it up all the way, Joe! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! Oh no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that! Dad! You need to stop! Someone needs to call! Fireman Sam! Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire! Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury! <laughs> Ellie, Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger that, Sam. Power's off, Sam! 
I don't think the Scrum Master 2000 will make it through his solo. Everyone, move back. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 yards back for maximum safety. All out, Sam. Now then, I'm off to rescue Dolly. You're supposed to be cleaning Jupiter, not your foot. I know, sir, but I finished cleaning Jupiter. <laughs> Can I join in the smoke room training now, sir? Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some soot on Jupiter's bumper and her headlights. There will be no smoke room training for you, Credlington, until Jupiter is clean. Pristine and gleaming. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, Jupiter. I'll get you some clean water. <laughs> Ooh, here comes the new dragon. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm king of the dragons, I just want to add some last minute touches. <laughs> Once the king of dragons has a fire breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever. Ah, behold. My dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! It's on fire! What? Whoa! Huh? Oh. And it's coming toward us! Oh! Oh no! It's rolling towards the station! I think... I better call Fireman Sam. A fire breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. That's a new one. A fire breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. Pizzas in your oven, Hannah? Just about. It was a bit of a squeeze. Great! I'll call Granddad and tell him they're nearly done. <gasps> Don't call Granddad, James. Call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe! Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger that, that Sam! Sam. Shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I got 
out of my animal rescue uniform. I'm ready to fight the fire. I'm sorry, Elvis. It's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait. It's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no. That might be on fire, too. Ah! I'm on my way. Sorry, I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit bossy. A bit? <laughs> I know you were trying to help your granddad, James, but you should have waited for your mom or dad to do it for you. I'm sorry, Sam. We should have kept more of an eye on them. There is a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. There's a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. We'll fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. glad everyone's safe. Whenever there's a fire on a slope, it's always important to stay below the flames, because fire and smoke travel uphill very quickly. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam, and I'm sorry, Bella. I just wanted to watch some soccer, but I should have been concentrating on the pizzas. Oh, I understand, Norman. After all, I love my football as much as you. Really? Flaming houses! Go oh, horses! Ah. Oh. <gasps> Mamma mia! That was bellissimo! Can I have your autograph? Oh, sorry to ruin this celebration, Norris. But have you forgotten our long-standing rule? Winner buys dinner. What? Eh? What's that you say? Bacon and maple syrup, eh, Norm? Yeah, I'll have a barbecue shrimp, thanks, mate. Uh, smoky pepperoni, please, Norman. Spinach pizza for me. Hold the cheese. Can I get a calzone? Roll twice with the crust no more than an inch and a half uh, thick. Uh, Can I get a small meat pie? Not a bad game today, Norris. Thanks, old sport. You weren't so bad yourself. My ball. <laughs> There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. The forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus.
dampened it down, Penny, but we could do with some backup. Hang on, Sam. I'm on my way. I'm sorry, Sam. We got a bit carried away making the giant bear and... Just remember to keep your wicker animals a safe distance from your campfire and your campfire a safe distance from your tents. You two should have known better. Yes, yes Sam. Sam. Congratulations, everyone. You all get your bushcraft badges. Hooray! <laughs> and James gets a special fire marshal badge for spotting the blaze. Yay! <laughs> Well, at least we managed to break the record for the world's tallest wicker bear. Although it is lying down. And on fire. We could always make another one. After all, we, we are, are the, the wild men of Plenty Penny. I was afraid they were going to say that. Me too, Trevor. <laughs> Me too. There's no need to panic, everyone. Move to the back of the train and stay calm. Look out, Sam! Um, I'll get out your side, Sam. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. On the way. I don't like out of control trains that are on fire. Do something, Normaxo. Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on our interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman? Norman, this isn't the time to... Shh, I'm on a call. Fly us above the train, Tom. No worries, Sam. Normaxo, look! Your phone call worked! It's a UFO. UFO? Oh, alien! Huh? Norman? Shh, I'm hiding from the aliens. Sorry, Sam. We'll have to head back to the rescue center till this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow. Drop me off here, Tom. Nice one, Sam. Totally epic. <gasps> it's an alien on the roof. you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin. <gasps> Don't listen to him, Penky. Come on, we'll show them. No! That's it. I've stood up for you. I told everyone you're a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. <laughs> My floodlights! Off the ice, everyone! 
one. Ah, I can't. Ah, oh. <laughs> I'd better call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink. Out with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. Get back! Stand back! I think we're okay. The ice is melting. Uh, uh, the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Sam. I'll get Norman. <laughs> Stay calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Ah! Ah! Now look what you've done. Fireman Sam can't reach me. Ah. Norman, use your penguin to skate to me. I didn't mean what I said, Pangy. You really are a super penguin. Now get me out of here! Come on, Norman. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Fireworks! There's a fire! Ah! Oh. They're in the tent! Where do they keep the fireworks? There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks? Those things could go up like a rocket! There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. This tatty old board was the cause of the fire. That was my masterpiece. I'm thinking that might have had something to do with the fire. I'm sorry. I was trying to dry the paint quickly with my heater. Well, you need to be much more careful about where you set up your heater, Mike. Especially around fireworks. Sorry, Sam. Are the fireworks okay? Well, these ones are a bit soggy. But I'm sure we can get some more in time for tonight's display. It took me ages to paint that board. Don't worry, love. Why don't you just go get the one from last year? Well, that's it. Better close up for the night. <gasps> Norman Price! Those coconuts were glued down? <gasps> no wonder poor Trevor couldn't knock them off! Oh, dearies. Oh, oh, Trevor, look at your big muscles. <laughs> oh, well, that's over for another year, Sam. It was less trouble than last time. It's not huh? fair. Sarah's pizza's bigger than mine. <laughs> my head's stuck. <gasps> Just dropped the hammer on my foot, eh? <laughs> keep walking, Penny. Just keep walking.
James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. Sorry, Ryan. It's an oil fire, so we'll need the sticky foam. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Sam. Penny, shut off the electricity at the box. Hey, James? He's fine. It's a good idea not to keep oily rags lying around. They can catch fire easily. I'm really sorry, Sam. I'll be more careful in the future. And Norman Price? Next time you make a movie, have a grown-up supervise all the stunts. Yes, Fireman Sam. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry I put you in so much danger, James. Norman, we can't film anymore. All these rescues have almost filled up my memory card. Oh, really? Norman Price is Jake Pond, international firefighting super spy. Yay! <laughs> Dangerous stuff is my middle name. No, it's not Norman. It's Stanley. Mom! <laughs> Stanley? <laughs> Maybe you are a professional actor after all, Sam. Oh, thanks, Penny. That stunt double is fabulous. Who is he? <laughs> the name's Sam. Fireman Sam. Huh? <gasps> Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. Oh. Ooh. Oh, what's that noise? What's going on down there? I can hear Fire Captain Steel working on the handcart. Hmm. Ah! She'll be growing body wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way, and the old mines go into the mountain this way and they get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. Huh. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. Ah. We're here! Sam! <laughs> 
Captain Steele has finally given up on the candy apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah! There is a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter Sam, air 100. Ready, Elvis? Ready, Sam. Firefighter Air 100. Keep back, everyone. One at a time. Take my hand and stay low. <laughs> That's it, Mandy. Come to me. Where are Sarah and James? <laughs> oh. <laughs> of the show, not you. But James hasn't turned up. Ta-da! Ah, oh, oh, stupid flippers. Ah, ah, oh. <laughs> My water lilies. My heron. My cedar rain. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. There's a fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. We'll meet you there, Arnold. We'll drive Venus and Jupiter down. That won't be quick enough. Tom, you'll need to winch me up. On away, Sam. To the pool! Everyone. Sam! We can't find James. 
He didn't do his froggy finale and he's He's not... locked in the change rooms. What? How did that happen? I wanted to be the star of the show, so I glued the door shut. <gasps> I'm really sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh no! What have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just slowed it up. Help! Help! Oh. It's all right, James. Stand back. No! Uncle Sam! Hey. I've got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis. Okay, Tom. <laughs> I've got it all under control. We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. We'll use the hoses, too. Announce radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! <laughs> I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favorite chocolatey treat. <gasps> no, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving them lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes, maybe a few. Mystery solved. Huh? Oh! Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger that, Sam. Go get him, boy. I'm proud of you. I see him, boy. Oh, oh dear. Gotcha. You have to be much more careful, Trevor. You could have been badly injured. You're right, Sam. I think my tree climbing days are over. It's my fault you were in the tree in the first place, Trevor. I'm so sorry. We just needed to find the fox. The fox? So sorry, Mom. I forgot that you told me that the fox was a wild animal, because I thought it looked like a dog, and I opened the cage to feed it, and it escaped. You mean that fox? <gasps> yes, that one. Me and Norman tried to find it, but we couldn't find it anywhere, and... It's back? He found his own way home. Looks like he knew when his feeding time was. Well, it looks like everybody's happy. Does that mean that nothing was actually my fault? Wait a minute. You said that some foxes were just like dogs. Uh, well, maybe that one wasn't. Or, uh, maybe I was thinking about some other animal. Wolves, uh, uh, pandas, fish, unicorns! <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <gasps> That's Norman and Terry! Oh, dear! Sam, help! We can't get back! Grab hold of the end! Thanks, Fireman Sam! Thank you! You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. 
Oh no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Uh, you see, the thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we don't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. Mm, no broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you really warmed up before you started. Well, uh, uh... And built up slowly. Oh, uh, oh! <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on. Where do you think you all are going? There is no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, yes, us. <laughs> I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Uh, where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. Okay, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. This could have been easily dealt with if you boys hadn't lost those floppy shovels. Sorry, Fireman Sam. In this hot weather, it's vital to be able to put out small fires quickly before they spread. I should never have left them alone with that cooking stove. That's true, Trevor. Ah, nothing like getting away from the office and putting out a good fire. Don't you agree, sir? Absolutely. Are you okay, sir? You sound out of breath, old chap. <laughs> if you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you.